All right, so we've got a question today from our buddy Priyanka, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And she says, Hi, Stefan. I've always had doubts regarding this lucid dream. What I'd like to ask is, if the dream gets too scary and I experience sleep paralysis, how should I snap out of it? And if I can't wake up and the dream continues, then what, what happens? I would be glad if you could answer my question. So, sleep paralysis, as I've explained before, is where your body paralyzes your muscles in preparation for your sleep so that you don't act out your dreams physically and obviously injure yourself and others. That's the reason. So, when it starts to happen, your mind obviously will still be awake to some degree because otherwise you wouldn't know you're having sleep paralysis, if that makes sense. So you're, you're in some way consciously aware and your mind is awake. So it really depends on what level of consciousness you're at. If you're, uh, if you're just drifting off to sleep and you realise that you're starting to be paralysed, then it's fairly easy to get out of sleep paralysis. You just imagine getting out of sleep paralysis. You just sort of uh, will yourself to move. It's, it's, it's very easy to escape sleep paralysis when you're just at the beginning stages of sleep paralysis. But if you're at the middle to end stages of sleep paralysis, where you're n closer to being asleep than being awake, if that makes sense. If, imagine there was a scale where here you're awake, here you're asleep. Sleep paralysis is that scale. And if you're here, for example, you're closer to being awake, so it's quite easy to escape. If you're here, then the paralyzed uh, state is a, a stronger one, so it's harder to escape, and the dream will probably continue. And so your question was, if I can't wake up and a dream continues, what happens? Well, you just experience the dream as normal. Um, and hopefully, if you keep your mind awake through the process, you'll actually have a wake-induced lucid dream, which, as you may already know, is uh, one of the most common techniques for reducing a lucid dream. You keep your mind awake while your body goes to sleep. So that's what will happen. You will just experience a lucid dream or you'll fall asleep and wake up the next morning and try again the next night, for example. So I hope that answers your question. I know this is a short video, um, but I've got uh, I've got dozens and dozens of questions to work through. So I'm going to do my I'm going to do my very best to answer them all. Um, if any explanation I give is not detailed enough or you feel like I didn't really answer your question in the way you would have liked, please leave a comment and I'll redo the video and sort of go more in depth. But with most of them, it's it's uh, really only a sort of a, a brief explanation that's required, I feel, um, to, to help you and to answer your questions. So thank you for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, um, especially if um, you are coming from my email list and you've asked, you've asked a question through that because I don't send updates through email. I'll only, I'll only reply to the individual people who send the question with their video, if that makes sense. So uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you want to see updates.